Hi everybody, this is Annie. I'm a witness for Jesus Christ and I'm also a prayer warrior. Praise God. I am reading out of the book of Psalms chapter or excuse, yeah, chapter 121, the New Living Translation. But before I get started, as I like to say in most of my videos, get yourself anointed. If you have olive oil, and as it says in the book of James, if you're sick, go to the elders and have them anoint you with olive oil. Every day that I get up, I dip my finger into the olive oil after I shower, after I work out, after I go swimming, and I put it on my forehead and I decree and declare what it is that I need for the day, what it is that the Holy Spirit is speaking to me. So today I have been seeking wisdom. I have been seeking all the good fruits, walking in the will in reverence to Jesus Christ. The other thing I like to say in most of my videos, drink water. Water refreshes, water revives, water purifies, sanctifies. Water is the symbol of the Holy Spirit. Water wakes us up. Water cleans us out. Jesus is our living water. Rivers of water flow out of our heart, out of our mouth, and that's the way we walk. We cannot live without water. Jesus is our bread, the manna from heaven, and our living water. So, drink water. The other thing um, uh, is we're going to go ahead and get started. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, I'm reading out of the New Living Translation. And uh, Psalm 121 is a psalm that we can depend on God for help. Pilgrims must travel through lonely country to their destination. They are protected not by anything created, but by the creator of everything. So we are protected in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are protected because we have the Lord of Heaven's army surrounding us to fight our battles. So stay strong in the Lord. Harness your emotions. Keep your full armor on. Seek wisdom. Walking in the fear of the Lord is true wisdom. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. It says, I look up to the mountains. Does my help come from there? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let me stumble. The one who watches over me will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel never slumbers or sleeps. The Lord himself watches over you. Mm. The Lord stands beside you as your protective shade. The sun will not harm you by day, oh, nor the moon at night. The Lord keeps watch. Mm. Uh, the Lord keeps you from all harm and watches over your life. The Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go, both now and forever, in Jesus' name. Mm. So, I don't know what kind of struggle you're going through. I don't know where you need Jesus to part the Red Sea to make his way plain for you to follow, but you can't go wrong if you keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. Fight the good fight of faith. Press towards the mark. Count everything all joy. I love you. Jesus Christ, I'm telling you, he loves us all even more. Remember, Jesus is Lord and your soul is wealth. Bye now.